review on the Softworks Beach Cloud Twin Fin. Uh, might not look like it, but this is a soft top, which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so full dimensions of this board are, um, it's 5'8 by 20 and a half uh, by two and three quarters with 36.8 liters. So there's a bit of foam in there, which is fun for those small days. Um, so first thoughts on this board when surfing it is, under, under your arm, it feels like different to any other soft top. It's, um, the foam is like, it's not so foamy, it's a lot harder. Um, it's got an EPS blank in it. Um, and it just feels way more performance. It's actually like, got a concave there. So like, even just like, so the first thoughts of like getting up and surfing this thing was like, whoa, this is like a kind of a hybrid between uh, a traditional kind of twin fin and a soft top, which is kind of weird. Definitely more on the soft top spectrum. It's super, super fun board, super quick. So first impression was, there's heaps of foam in that, way more foam than I normally surf, is you get on it and it's super easy to paddle, easy to catch waves, and you are just flying down the line. So that is speed, I would say, is the first impression. Um, from there, um, what have I surfed this board in? Waves, so I've surfed this in conditions, um, mainly kind of two foot beach breaks, um, I got it out at D-Bar in some bigger surf, like about four foot, punchy kind of closeout waves, which is real fun. As I said, um, just, you know, it's just, I've got some like pretty simple F8 futures in, in there. Um, and it's a soft top, so you can just kind of charge anything and have a lot of fun on it. Um, not the best board, like for turns and stuff, as you would think it's a soft top 20. Um, but in saying that, it just like, you, it's like, super skatey and super kind of just fun to try and handle because you're kind of just flying down the line. Um, so conditions wise, like just in those days that you wouldn't take out like your normal performance board, but in saying that, like it is pretty addictive. Like I've been surfing this quite a bit over the last, last few weeks, just as like a morning kind of, just doesn't matter what the surf is, you can still go out and have some fun. Um, the fins are right on this board, yeah, just, just cheap fins that I had at home, just F8s. Um, you can, it is just future boxes, which is super rad. So I actually want to get some proper like twin fins in there. Um, you know, any kind of, some keels would be fun to try. So I'm going to look and see what kind of other futures kind of templates I could put in there. Um, favorite feature of this board is the concave, like the bottom, like, uh, I know, it, it, I don't know whether it's like a placebo effect, but like, it's just so cool that it's got a concave and like the, the depth, like it just, you can tell the difference between this and some of the other um, soft tops, like, and it's cool that it's white as well. So you don't look like a little bit too fruity going down the beach with the crazy colors and stuff. So it's kind of a little bit of a sleeper and um, yeah, you're still having a lot of fun. Although that could look bad, like if people think you're surfing on the board and you kind of, kind of do the rail turn, probably. Um, if I was going to ride this board, um, sorry, if I was going to change anything on this board, I would get like normal rails, <laughs> which is like impossible, I think, to make a soft top. That's a challenge to people that make soft tops out there. Um, to be honest, yeah, I wouldn't like as far as the soft top goes, like it's just a super, it's the funnest soft top I've ever surfed, I reckon, by far. Because it's just like, if what is a soft top, like it's not a like, performance board, it's a perfect like, hybrid of just a fun twin fin that um, is super, super fast. So yeah, pull up, awesome board, highly recommend you try it. Um, and yeah, so that's the, yeah, just to clarify the 5.8, 20 and a half by two and three quarters with 36.8 liters. You, I missed it. Yeah.